I only died three times. That's impressive. I saw so many people complaining on Steam about that boss, but that wasn't hard. That was, like, perfectly fine. It's usually just the normal levels that are painful. I time to do four dash one. Holy way. So I figured out my grenades do not regenerate. Uh Ashton. Mm-hmm. I was the game started like fully like one FPS lagging because of how many enemies were dying to my bug saws. <laughs> okay, let me see graphics. I need to turn the graphics down. <laughs> Why am I starting to go slower? Must find the sea of deep regret. I'm gonna grab something first. It's gonna be a long journey. It won't really be a long journey. Unless you're not in the hub. Heal, not deal. This level I would complete fully, but I'm not in the mood for that. Not a bit skip through. It's an open world level, so it's pretty much open world level, but I'm just bouncing away. Wait, I think I found the, the end of the world. Where is the end of the world? Oh, it just stopped generating. Yep, I'm dead. Wait, is there? Is there actually like an end to the world kind of thing? Because there isn't a ready way to put it in the hub. Wait, I'm not taking damage. No, no, I'm taking damage. Are you in the I died. 
died. I want to see how far I could get. something even more grand. I don't know, probably like a plane or something. I 
rocket by a tractor? I finally saved something. I can buy a tractor. In Trove, there's a tractor you can buy. You can buy a ship? How much help does the boss have? Thank you. Oh my god. Okay, Ashton. Let me just tell you, I shot this boss with two rail cannon shots, 11 buzz saws, like probably 12 shotgun blasts, three revolver shots, four coins, and that killed him. It took all of that to kill one enemy. You know what's even... great? I can't buy the tractor or the ship without spending money on the game, which I'm absolutely not going to do. You find out video games like taking your money? Especially free ones, oh god. Yeah. Surprised totally Xbox play, like, doesn't have ads. I totally don't have like five free to play games that try to take your money at every angle you can get. Didn't Okay, so first Netflix said they were gonna have ads a while back. Then Xbox and PlayStation said they were gonna have ads. And then EA said they were gonna put ads in their video games. Did you see that? Yeah, I think I did. Cause it was like a huge craze that people were gonna like stop gaming and stuff if it was ads inside of console games. I mean, who, who would it? But why do you even play anymore? If it's just yeah, I would games. absolutely stop gaming. If every game is gonna have like a mobile game level of advertisements, I'm straight up stop playing. I don't even care. <sighs> So I saw something a while back that, um, some hospital, I think it was the CDC actually, they were recommending gamers to do like workouts when they died as like a punishment to themselves. So like when you die, do five push-ups. I know. C CDC recommended that back in like 2020. I do and don't see the point. I think it's just because they don't want you like sitting down the whole time when you yeah, could be like, so. I think it excessive is like crap. Because like, could you imagine if you're playing a game like I am right now with Alt Trail, where you can die in like the first two seconds of a level? You would probably break bones in your body doing that much. I'm robbing this dude. But you could kill muscles because of that is like. Because there's, like, imagine geometry dash with that. Oh my god! I think I actually saw a meme about that. You should do five push-ups when you die, geometry dash players. Yeah, they'd be a skeleton because there'd be nothing left of them. <laughs> You'd probably wake up and feel that the next day. Who would be alive at this point? No, I killed the horse. Dude, I've taken like thousand horse. attempts to keep one level in Jumpy Dash. I've taken over one thousand. And this movie's taken tens of thousands. Dude, you will not be alive. I remember there's a game that tells you how much, how many times you died throughout the whole game. I think it's one of the Legend of Zelda games or something. Oh, Jumpy Dash does. Huh. What am I meant to do when there is 20 enemies with ranged projectiles? This is difficult. This is straight up stupidly difficult. This is beyond difficult as a tool. Like, there's the enemies that cause you to be able to heal. There's, like, 
literally, the whole room is lagging because of the amount of projectiles the enemy shoots. I want to get to the Neon City for the Drowned World. Died again because I can't fucking heal. Whoa, man, is that family friendly? Oh. I'm just giving you a hard time. Only person who cares is And now the enemies are able to shoot projectiles through each other without hitting each other. Yep, totally. 100%. That's totally fair. Going to the three star. Also, Ultra Kill seems very frustrating. I mean, I'm playing the second hardest difficulty in every level. Like, dude. You should dude, try to play the hardest difficulty in it's a separate not out video. Yet. It, it is oh. not yet. This one just. So came it's out. the hardest current. Yes, this is the hardest in front of me. And literally, my game is like the three thousand of the drive downers. At this point, I'm not even going to go for the faces, I'm just going to, like, absolutely demolish the room by pressing both sides of the faces. Other than that, I don't see any way this will be possible. I've entered the three star. I'm still going to die because I can't heal. Chicken! Wait, no How do I? Where's the battles. formal? I'm at the three star. Where? Where's the portal? I found the portal. Dude. I finally beat that level. That that one part of the level was lagging so much, it, it felt like I was on 500 ping because of the amount of projectiles causing my game to lag. Wait, dude, it's not even the difficulty. It's the amount. Like, could you imagine? You Like, you're just trying to play a game. But there's so Holy crap, much going, I just got... Like, Ashton, imagine, you know, how you're on an Xbox and sometimes an Apex, you lag for no reason. Yup. Imagine that happening in a single-player game due to the sheer amount of enemy projectiles, and because it lags, you're instantly dead because of the amount of projectiles coming at you. Like it's I'm in a barely, sort of mirror maze. It's not even on the player, it's just on the strength of your computer at this point. Like, at this point, speedruns are going to be reliant on if people have a good enough PC to complete the levels or not. I'm scared for how the next difficulty is going to work, because if it's any more projectiles than that, then I don't know if it can be possible for me. You must try. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. I'm not surviving this. I somehow first try got to the phase one of the boss, which I've never done that first try before. So I'm dead now because I have to Oh, I forgot to beat them. Never mind. Somehow did it first because I did one shot. Get a legendary melee and a legendary bow. That's pretty sweet. Yep. 
I just first... Okay, so... My first violence playthrough... This boss took me quite literally about, um... Maybe 45 attempts. I just beat him first try and brutal. Thank you a lot. No way I'm beating all these guys alone. Well, I don't have a friend. Anything I can do. I, may I must go in alone. 4 4 on the first try. <laughs> oh my god. I P ranked 4. Dash four first try with 1.45 seconds, 1.45 minutes.